Hello everyone, welcome to or welcome back to my channel. My co-host is with me today. He couldn't wait to sit down and do this video and he said he misses everybody. So Taggy, say hi to all your fans. He's saying hi. Today I wanted to do a comparison between my Coach Soft Tabby and my Louis Vuitton Diane bag hold both of these up so that you can give a look and believe it or not these two bags are very very similar now the soft tabby is actually designed really close to the Fendi mama baguette but if you compare it side to side with the Diane bag they're really similar very very similar they're similar in size they're similar in shape. They both come with a crossbody strap and a short strap. The coach is all leather and the Diane is canvas trimmed with leather. Let me just knock the strap out of the way so you can see it from the bottom. So obviously I have both bags. I didn't really consider the similarity between the coach and the Diane until after I got the coach. So since I've already reviewed the Diane bag and I really wanted to do a review of the coach soft tabby, let's get into some of the specifics of this bag. So I measured this side here. This is six inches tall. The Diane is five inches tall. So this is about an inch taller. They're both nine inches across. Actually, I think it's closer to 10 inches. And the base of the bag is, I think, three inches at the widest, maybe a tiny bit over. Soft Tabby is made of this really beautiful, smooth leather. It's nice and soft. You can feel when you touch it, how nice and soft and smooth. And the underside, this really feels like suede and not a micro suede. And this is the army green and it's trimmed in snake skin. This is actually real snake skin with gunmetal hardware on the C, on all of the fittings. And I really wasn't sure in the beginning, but this is actually snake skin on the handle. I really thought that it was just printed, but it is snake skin. If you run your fingers across it, you can feel the scales. It's smooth, but as far as I know, this is actually a snake. And then the long strap is just leather. And I love that the grommets are here on the holes. So it protects the holes from getting frayed or getting worn out. And then you have a gunmetal buckle. I'm not really sure if there was a strap keeper, another strap keeper, here for some reason I thought that there was but I think that I pushed it up so that it wouldn't fall off because it's not connected to anything so you know sometimes on some bags you have the strap keeper that are, that's just kind of sewn into one place but this comes completely loose which is fine for me inside well let's do the back pocket you have a back pocket that zips I don't think I have anything in here. Piece of paper. And this is all fabric lined. And it just feels like a cotton lining. And then inside, it's just one big open space. So I'm going to show you what I have in this bag. And I'm going to put the things into the Diane to show that they hold the same. And the reason why I'm doing this is because if you like the Louis Vuitton and if you don't want to spend 2300 and some dollars, I think it was, you could get one of these soft tabbies for significantly less. Saks run sales really often and they run spectacular sales and they've had soft tabbies from anywhere, anywhere from $199 to 
I want to say around 260 when they really put them on their deep discount. So you could grab one at that price and it's certainly worth it. I will pay full price for this. You also have snake skin here. I just wanted to put that in. Yeah, I would pay full price for this bag. I think that it's really a great bag. It's very, very comfortable to wear. And it holds a lot. I mean, for a small bag, smaller bag, it really holds quite a bit of stuff, as you can see. So you have the story patch on this back wall. And then there's a zipper compartment in the front. And let me just show the interior of the Diane for a second. Put that on the side of me. And this is lined with a fuchsia fabric. You have a zip pocket in the back, on the back wall. And then this is just one big open space. And there's a slip pocket in the back. And it does come with a shoulder strap, a web shoulder strap which I've used with my Alma BB, and it looks really cute with the Alma BB because my Alma is orange, and you could see there's orange in the strap as well. So, let's see what's in my soft tabby. So first thing I have here is my Prada wallet, and I'm pretty sure that this is the smallest of my compact wallets. And I really, really adore this wallet. I've talked about this before. You have quite a lot of room in here to hold cards and cash. And it's just such a great little compact size. It'll fit pretty much in any small bag. Even when you have a good bit of cards in here and it's expanded a little bit. So let me take that and I'm going to put it in the Diane. So here you go. Oh, fighting with this. There it is. And then I have my mini pochette. And let's see. I could put that flat. And here's what it looks like inside there. And then I have this little long shop change purse and I just have some hand sanitizer in here. And this is squishy, so it's gonna fit pretty much anywhere. I'm gonna just put this down in the front. Like this. And then I have some tissues. I think I'm gonna put the tissues in the zipper compartment. So they can go in the zipper compartment there. And I have this Hermes notebook, which I like to keep with me sometimes if I need to write some things down if I'm out and about somewhere. I keep a pen sometimes in my car or I'll just grab it from wherever I'm at. My nose spray because God, it's getting harder and harder to find the regular spray kind. I hate the mist. This is the only one that I'll use and ugh, it's almost impossible to hunt down. And I can't leave home without it. Otherwise, my nose is gonna be stuffy and I'm gonna be really in more torment. So let's get this here. So there it goes in there. And next I just have my keys. And I could just lay my keys on top. So there's everything that was in the Diane bag. Not so neatly placed inside. Everything that was in the tabby, excuse me, in my Diane, which I really didn't plan this out so well. 
as far as getting things fit. So there it all is. And let me close it. Closes with no trouble. So you could see that these are very, very comparable. So again, everything that was in the tabby is now here in the Diane. And I'm gonna hold them up again to give a better look at the strap drop. And you can see with the strap drop, the soft tappy, tappy, yeah, right. The soft tabby has a slightly shorter strap drop. Very, very slightly shorter. So I'm holding these both at the center. Oh, there it goes. So you can see the tabby comes up a little bit higher. So it's a tiny, tiny bit shorter, the strap drop. But if you look at it from this way, they look pretty much even. So it's gonna be about the same fit. I love them both. I mean, I absolutely love them both. I am glad that I have them both. I don't plan on getting rid of either bag. But again, if you like the look of the Diane and don't like the price, this is a really good alternative. Or the Fendi Baguette. So they're, they're very, very similar bags. So there you have it. Again, this is just a fantastic bag. And one thing I wanted to point out, when I got this bag, there was some sort of like a white mark over here. I have no idea what it was, but I just took a very, very tiny bit of water, put it on a paper towel, squeezed all the excess out, rubbed it for a second, and it's gone. So I don't know if somebody just brushed it against something that was dusty or maybe there was white out on the paper and it just kind of touched this for a second, but whatever was there, it's out. So I'm, I'm really happy with it. Weight wise, I'd say that these are also about the same weight. So even though this is all leather because it's not full leather, there's fabric lining inside. You don't really have that much weight to it. The, the leather on this bag is fairly lightweight. <clears throat> Excuse me. And I would say that Diane is probably a little bit more structured, but they're really comparable. Very, very comparable. So if you have any questions, leave them in the description box below. Speaking of my description box, I'm going to include things that still haven't sold from my vlog sale. So if there's anything that you're interested in, take a look down there and let me know if there's anything that you want. I still have that open. There are a lot of things that are sold. So if there's something that you wanted, I'm really sorry. Whoever emailed first and paid first is who wound up with the item. So keep a look out. Who knows, one day I may do another vlog sale. But for right now, I'm really, really happy with what I have. Coming up, I have a couple of unboxings that'll be happening over the next week, week and a half or so. I have a collab with Eva from Fuchsia Floyd on Saturday. And next week, I'm doing my 2023 wish list with Yota Style. So you don't want to miss any of that. Hit the notification bell. Hit the subscribe button. Why not? It's free. And make sure that you like this video if you enjoyed. And I will see you soon in my next video. Have a great rest of your week. Bye-bye.